Hi there, I'm Colin McCarthy and for the last week and a bit I have been using an HTC Hero uh, that was lent to me by the people from 3 Mobile Buzz um, and here are my thoughts on it. Um, hardware wise it is a nice solid little unit um, it's a little bit shiny um, so when I do put it on the car seat I find that it does slide around a little bit so I can't uh, do that Normally with my Nokia E71 I can just leave it on the car seat and going around roundabouts it doesn't seem to move. This is a little bit shiny on the back, it does seem to slide over. Um, the curve is very nice because it does fit nicely into the palm of your hand there like that. Um, one annoying feature which keeps uh, being an issue for me is the volume controls for the ringer and if you're media or any other notifications they're just on the side there and I find that when they're in my pocket I tend to hit them all the time so without knowing it um, I end up turning the volume down for the ringer and then I don't hear the phone going off um, it has a headphone socket in the top which is rather recessed but it works very well with the supplied headphones um, it's quite a good uh, sound quality from them but we'll talk about them later I haven't used the trackpad at all I've or the little button here, the little roller, completely forgot about that keep using the screen. has one USB slot at the bottom which is for charging and also syncing. doesn't need any software on Windows or Linux. Uh, my Ubuntu machine, just plug it in, move the little screen down, say you want to mount the drive and it appears on your desktop. Um, it was very quick transferring files over. As a telephone, that's the main thing that it is. Um, I find the call quality very good. I do have a lot of issues with it going into roaming for some reason where I work it thinks I work in a different country even though I'm still working in the UK it constantly tells me I'm rolling I'm roaming and makes a beeping sound uh, I had to change the settings to allow data to sync while I'm roaming in the UK um, because otherwise I just couldn't get on the internet um, anytime and email wouldn't sync so that's very annoying um, the thing I do like about the contacts uh, and using the telephone is that uh, it keeps your history so you can sync in your contacts from Google and then uh, you can see the text messages that you've sent to a contact and if you've added in your Facebook information it will also show up their picture when they call uh, taken from their Facebook profile I find that very good um, the other thing that it also does the two main things that any phone should do is make your phone calls and also sending text messages. Now text, the way it displays them in like a, a threaded um, discussion uh, is very good. They're very good for keeping track of you know conversations that you have rather than them all being in chronological order. They're grouped by um, the person that you're, you're communicating with. I found, found that very good. Um, the issue I do have is with the uh, virtual keyboard on the screen. Um, I'm so used to a Nokia E71 um, that I think I'm probably too programmed now to a physical hard keyboard. Um, with this key, well, with the virtual keypad, that I find that you have to type rather slowly, um, and you also you can't, you know, you have to take your finger off of the screen and tap it down again for another key, off of the screen, tap it down for another key, because if you know you can't, you know, drag it across because then you're hitting other letters and you end up spelling, you know, Iceland's volcanoes uh, by mistake. Um, so they're the two main things, the hardware, very nice, apart from the volume control buttons. The phone, the way I do like it, it will um, keep all of the contacts together. Um, and text messages, they're nice and threaded, although the keyboard is a little bit tricky to get used to. So they're my first three thoughts about the phone.